welcome to you Class Students Union Union Awards 2021. This year we are online, however that's not going to stop us celebrating the fantastic achievements of our student volunteers. So whether you're a nominee or a winner, continue the great work, continue to inspire and empower other students and if you're leaving the university, continue to get involved in your local community. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Professor Graham Baldwin, our UCLAN's Vice-Chancellor, who is going to do the opening address. Hello, my name is Graham Baldwin and I'm the Vice-Chancellor here at UCLAN and it gives me great pleasure to have the opportunity to speak to you on the evening of your Student Union Awards. This university is a fantastic place and it achieves many significant and really great things. And that's all down to the people who make up the university, both uh, of our staff and of course our students. And I want to congratulate all of you who have achieved such a great deal and who have been nominated tonight. Clearly this year has been a very, very different year and we've worked under very challenging circumstances. And it's great credit to the student union that they have done so much to uh, support our students and to improve the uh, opportunities that they have had over the course of the year. Uh, they have worked really closely with the university community, which I very much appreciate, and have done some great things to make sure that our students are able to progress uh, and they've been able to live safely, happily, and effectively here on the university campus. It's not unusual, of course, the uh, student union has um, a great reputation for working uh, and doing significant amounts of volunteering activity. It takes place not only here in the university, but of course across the city and through the region. And what you do improves the lives of those people you are volunteering to support. And of course you represent the university significantly, which is also very much appreciated. And during the course of this year, it's been very, very clear how you have improved the lives of all our students who have been on campus and indeed those who have had to continue with their uh, studies online. So I want to be very clear and I want to note the really good working relationship that the university has with the Students' Union, which is better than you'll find in many uh, institutions. And I very much appreciate that. And I want to go on record and thank all of the SU executive for the significant contribution that they've made this year. So thank you. So all that remains is for me to say to all of you once again, thank you, congratulations to you all, and I wish you a most enjoyable evening. Thank you. So to make tonight an enjoyable experience, please congratulate all the winners and all the nominees using the chat function and feel free to applaud from the comfort of your own home. So to present the first award, I'm going to hand over to Sophie O'Neill, who's the Vice President of Activities. Are you ready, Sophie? Are you going to catch? The first award is for Society Member of the Year. This award is for a member of society who time and time again strives to give 100% to the society and it is an inspiration to its members as well as being a fantastic representation of the Students' Union. The nominees are Brunosuke Yamazaki for going above and beyond in creating a language exchange event for the Japanese universities for students who are unable to go on their year abroad to Japan and has been involved in a Japanese language exchange with universities from all over the world. Sarah Jacobs, for always being dedicated to the Disabled Student Society magazine, frequently keeping in contact with the team and organising the society campaigns with other members to try and broadcast them as far as possible. Melanie Kennedy Driver, for frequently keeping in contact with the Disabled Student Society, organising society campaigns and trying to broadcast them again as wide and far as possible. Jane Constance, for her great work to promote the Singing Society using various different campaigns to bring people together. Her campaign during the lockdown was described as inspiring by nominees. The winning individual has been nominated for their drive to ensure students have the best experience during a tough year and going above and beyond expectations, especially under current circumstances. And the winner is... Ronishiki Yamazaki, congratulations! I would now like to hand over to Suleika to present the next award. The next award is the Campaign for Change Award. This award is about a campaign that has made change for students. 
These are individuals or groups who have taken a lead this year and campaigned to make change. The shortlisted campaigns have achieved impact for students, had a clear aim or done something particularly creative. Nominees are Time to Change Champions Group and UCLan Student Mind Society for their work in ensuring that all students had the relevant information and support during the Christmas period. They also held an online Time to Talk Day with different activities to support students. The Disabled Student Society for its extensive work in its Sunflower Lanyard campaign to the university to create a mask exemption lanyard unique to UCLan, only used by people on the exemption register. And the winner is... Time to change champions group and new plan students mind society for the third year running. Congratulations. I'd like to now hand over to Steph to present the next award. Thank you. So the next award is for Kosh Rep of the Year. This award recognises the Kosh Rep who has been consistently active over the past year, voicing the opinions of all students on their course by regularly attending SSLCs and building relationships well with students, academic staff and union officers. They have demonstrated and built upon good organisation and interpersonal skills. They have shown that they can help their peers in a range of ways, from signposting to supporting and responding to feedback in a timely fashion. The nominees are Dana Robinson for working with students to create action plans on how to tackle issues and reducing stress to students on her course. She's also been described as helping many students to understand the no detriment policy. Richard Craig for his work on holding frequent sessions to gather feedback for students on his course to ensure all students' voices are heard and supporting them in difficult issues and working closely with tutors. Niharika JK Tech Chandani for being a constant source of support to her fellow students and always voicing the opinions to tutors no matter how small the issue is and being an empathetic and hardworking course rep over a really difficult times. Andre Onchung Chu for being very proactive in collecting feedback from students and being described as a constant support to students on his course, going the extra mile to help solve any issues raised by students while being friendly and approachable. And finally, Pfizer Batch for efforts in meeting with tutors to discuss making changes to the structure and objective of assessments to ensure that students got the most out of their education and talked to concerns from students. The panel for this award decided that they would like to give a highly commended to a nominee as the quality of nominations was so high this year. That nominee is Richard Craig, who has worked tremendously hard over the past year for students. Thank you so much, Richard, for your tireless work on helping to support students at UConn Students' Union. The course rep winner has made an important change to their course and is described as extremely supportive and caring as a course rep. Their hard work since COVID-19 was mentioned numerous times and how they send regular emails to students to keep them informed. And the winner is... Andre on Chung Chu! Woo! Congratulations, Andre, and thank you so much on behalf of the students that you represent. I'd now like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. Sophie, catch! Our next award is the first sports award of the evening, and it is SUL Team of the Year. This is awarded in recognition of a small-sided or 11-a-side SUL team that have demonstrated the highest of standards on and off the pitch. The nominees are Headstrong MHFC for their continued promotion of mental health struggles and breaking stigmas among students at a very difficult time. UCLan Rovers for their enthusiasm and determination to create sporting opportunities for students at UCLan. And UCLan Strikers 11-7-a-side 
for their strong team spirit and their determination to create a sense of belonging amongst sporting students at a time of few opportunities. And the winner is... UFAN Rovers, congratulations! I will now hand over to Meg for the next award. The next award is for Media Contribution of the Year. This celebrates a show, video, article, campaign or event that has raised the profile of Pulse Media across the student body, has had a wide reach and involved not only current members of Pulse but students from the wider community as well. The winner of this award was described as creating and hosting their own live radio show during lockdown to ensure Pulse Media was still reaching out to students. They went above and beyond in setting up themselves with their own motivation and enthusiasm. The hosts were described as always being cheerful in every call. And the winner is... LGD Talks, Emma Preston and Luca Matthews. Congratulations guys. I'd like to hand over now to Steph to present the next award. Oh, thank you. The next award is for Council Member of the Year. This award recognises the council member who has been consistently active over the year, supporting big ideas and representing students on a daily basis, as well as voicing the opinions of those students at council meetings. They have supported and or run campaigns whilst having demonstrated passion, knowledge and effective communication with both elected officers and the union throughout their role. The nominees are Nikita Holmes for being a proactive council member, asking as many disabled students as she can for their opinion on big ideas so that their views are adequately expressed during meetings. Vinil Guta for being a proactive international student rep, working hard to ensure that student voices are heard and taking into consideration with a willingness to campaign for change. The winner of this award has been described by fellow council members as a hardworking member of the union who is fully dedicated to raising student voices. And the winner is... Vinil Gusa! Congratulations, Vinil, and thank you so much for all of the hard work that you do on behalf of international students. I'd now like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. The next award is for Best Society Event of the Year. This is awarded to the group that really goes the extra mile on a certain event and demonstrates the time, passion and effort that went into it. The success of the event isn't necessarily measured by numbers, but by the enjoyment felt by a diverse range of individuals who are involved with the SU. The nominees are the Chinese New Year Gala for creating an enjoyable and insightful event that lets students in foreign countries gain a sense of belonging. The event was extremely well attended and brought people together. Mental health awareness video by the Singing Society. This video was described as sending a glimmer of hope and a ray of sunshine to everyone at this difficult moment. Through this video, they delivered a striking support message to students to remind them that they are not alone. The SU Societies Together Gala. This event showcased a wide array of different performances, talks and activities to show off what the SU has to offer while providing great entertainment. The planning, organisation and the actual event all took place online, showing great teamwork across the groups. Musical Theatre Monthly Online Showcase. The monthly showcases that Musical Theatre created allowed everyone to showcase their talents through song, dance and acting and allowed their family and friends to watch on YouTube. The winner of this award had their event described as everyone involved was passionate to create the best event of the year. With all members collaborating on this event, another nomination said it was a huge collaboration of societies to showcase just how brilliant each of them are. And the winner is... The SU Societies Together Gala. Congratulations, everyone involved. I would now like to hand back to Zuleika. It is now time for our Gold Livesey Award commendations. At this point, we would usually award the certificates to the volunteers who have completed 90 hours of volunteering with the Students' Union. Our volunteers play a key role in the activities we do, so even though we can't give you your certificates right now, we want to say a huge thank you to all those people who have spent so much of their time volunteering with us. 
Certificates will be given when we can, but here are all the people that have completed their Gold Livesey Award this year. Congratulations. I'd now like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. Our last award, before we have a short break, is the Community Shield Award. This is awarded to the sports club who has contributed time and effort to projects with the SU and university, be it through fundraising, volunteering, or raising awareness of issues affecting the wider community. The nominees are Dance Club for creating a program of online dance classes over the course of a year to encourage positivity and engagement amongst students who have missed out on activity. Headstrong FC, for giving students who have struggled with mental health a platform to speak up and communicate about their feelings with no judgment or stigma. Cheerleading, for their ongoing dedication to raising money for good causes, including donating to food banks at Christmas and squat challenges for Teenage Cancer Trust. Uclan Rams American Football, for organising charity fundraisers for Calm and Fair Share and having a number of online socials to create a sense of community amongst members. And the winner is cheerleading congratulations tigers we are now going to take a short break and be right back with more awards so don't go anywhere Hello and welcome to part two of the Union Awards where we have some more fantastic volunteers that we want to recognise. Please continue to use the chat function to congratulate all the winners. So without further ado, I'd like to start the evening by announcing the winners of the Half Rose Award and the Club Rose Award to get us started. The Half Rose Award is an award for students who have been recognised by the awards committee to have made a significant contribution to their own sports club. 
and the winners are Next, we have our Club Rose Awards. This is an award for students who have been recognised by the awards committee to have shown outstanding voluntary service to their sports club over several years. The winners are... So a massive congratulations to all the winners. I'd now like to hand over to Meg to present the next award. Next up, we have the award for Media Volunteer of the Year. This award is for a volunteer who's gone above and beyond to make real lasting change to student media. This volunteer will have demonstrated unparalleled commitment to student media, inspired other volunteers and represented the brand personally throughout the year. The nominees are Gemma Nettle for working restlessly to maintain a high standard of pulse media in the student union. She has continued to manage, edit and oversee every piece of online content that Pulse Media has to offer while finishing her time demanding university course. Ben Gibbons for investing a great deal of time and effort into Pulse Media and having over eight articles and features up on the Pulse Media website to build up the project. Nicole Gregory for creating social media designs on a weekly basis to help promote articles and events. Nicole also took part in different projects that came up, such as the University Challenge, Pulse TV Animated Logo and Catchphrase. The winning nominee is described as kind, thoughtful and approachable and the Pulse Media website team and content would not be the same quality if not for them. And the winner is... Gemma Nettle. Congratulations Gemma. I'd now like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. The next award is for Inspiring Project Volunteer of the Year. This is for the Inspiring Project Volunteer who makes a valued difference in the lives of those they help and support. They are a positive ambassador for their project, engage in different aspects of the project and its development, make a valued difference to others and go above and beyond the expectation of their role. The winner has been described as an amazing team leader who absolutely deserves recognition for the work he's done, especially when he would never acknowledge his own hard work. Despite currently doing a master's course and helping out at the COVID testing labs on campus, this volunteer always finds time with the project and has remained enthusiastic despite the difficulties of the past year. A nomination said that without him, the project would have fallen apart. And the winner is... Jack Evans, congratulations Jack, you should be so proud of yourself. I would now like to hand over to Meg to present the next award. The next award is for the Charity Fundraisers of the Year. This award is for the group who have made a value difference to the lives of others through their fundraising activity. Not just about the amount, but also about the impact and innovation. The nominees are Kelly Marie Staunton for her work in raising money for both homeless people in Manchester and multi-hospitality charities to help people who've lost their job due to the pandemic. The SU Together Charity Gala for bringing together a large number of student groups to raise money for Lancashire Mind and NHS charities for a number of performances, talks and activities which not only raise money for charity but also raise morale among students. Amelia Wintle for going above and beyond by hosting virtual fundraisers and trying to raise money for charities virtually which was challenging. Amelia came up with ideas to raise money in a way that was new and fun like the Cluedo Mystery Night and Relay Marathons with the cheer team. The winners of this award put in an amazing amount of time and effort to help fundraise for brilliant charities and the event was enjoyed by everyone. But the winner is... SU Together Charity Gala. Congratulations guys. I'd now like to hand over to Steph who will present the next award. Oh! Our next award is for School President of the Year. This award recognises the school president who has been consistently active over the year, voicing the opinions of all students within their school by regularly meeting with senior staff, union officers and course reps. They will have been actively engaged with students' council and responded to feedback when it's arisen by demonstrating good organisation and communication skills as well as effectively closing the feedback loop. They are an ambassador of the union at school level and vice versa. 
The nominees are Hugo Labat for consistently proving that he is a dedicated person when it comes to voicing the concerns and needs of students in the School of Medicine throughout the academic year. Hugo also supported course reps with issues and helped students to set up societies to create more opportunities in the School of Medicine. Bethany Ramsden, for forming and man maintaining excellent communications and relationships with both staff and students during really difficult times. By doing this, Bethany has ensured that students have felt like they're involved within the university community. Camilla Aku, for being incredibly engaged with all of the course reps in the school and arranging multiple welcome meetings to accommodate students and make them feel like part of the process. And Charlie Blackburn, for being an active school president for nursing and displaying all the qualities that a great nurse requires while being considerate and taking action when needed. The person who has won this award has done so due to their constant dedication to creating positive change and has been described as friendly, supportive and professional. And the winner is... Hugo Labatt! Congratulations Hugo and thank you so much for all the work that you have done on behalf of students. I'm now going to pass you over to Sophie to present the next award. Here you go Sophie. The next award is for Sports Personality of the Year. This is awarded to an individual who has gone above and beyond their role in their club, someone who has shown that they are a leader both on and off the field, and this award is primarily focused on the contributions they have made to their club, the union, and the university. The nominees are Colm Clark from UCLan Rams American Football for his continued dedication to the Rams both on and off the pitch and being a great ambassador for the sport. Abigail Gent from Cheer for going above and beyond this year to ensure that cheer members could feel part of the club in a safe manner, such as cheerleading bingo and fundraising challenges. Aidan Fenn, Headstrong MHFC, for creating the Team Headstrong Mental Health FC, which has given students with mental health problems an outlet to enjoy themselves. Maddie Pistro, Men's Football, for helping build a better relationship between university football and SUL football to create a better sense of community. And the winner is Colm Clark. Congratulations, Colm. I'd now like to hand over to Meg to present the next award. Our next award is for Inspiring Project of the Year. This award is for the SU Inspiring Project that has made the most significant difference to UQAN students and all the local community over the past year. Nominations for these projects demonstrated the impact and or how the project has raised awareness of a particular issue as well as how it's felt volunteers involved. The winning project's volunteers went above and beyond to look after the environment around campus during an academic year in which students didn't get to spend a lot of time on campus to enjoy the efforts of this inspiring project's hard work. The project and its fantastic volunteers collected 50 bags of rubbish from the area and also came forth in a national litter pick challenge run by British Hedgehog Preservation Society. And the winner is... The Litter Pit Project. Congratulations. I'd like to hand over to Zuleika to present the next award. The next award is the COVID Hero Award. This is a new award we have created to reflect the amazing ways students have come together during the difficult times of the past year. The nominees are Kat Perring Griffiths for using her strength to inspire everyone around her. She has been an essential worker throughout this pandemic and has also found many opportunities to promote community spirit and lift people's mood during the lockdown. Kelly Staunton for raising money for charities such as Hospitality Action and Springboard to help people who have been made redundant in the hospitality industry. Kelly has also spread awareness and raised money for homeless charities around Manchester. Vinil Gutter for his work volunteering as a campus safety champion and making sure that the students maintain COVID-19 regulations within the campus to stay safe. 
Vanille also volunteered outside of the university as a COVID-19 vaccination volunteer, as well as being the international rep and working with the Litter Picking Inspiring Project. With this award, we decided to have an award winner and a highly commended award. The nominee we would like to give a highly commended award to is Kelly Staunton for her amazing charity work. Well done. The winner was described as one person who everyone would always reach out to and that they always delivered the best possible solution they could and helped many students in the process. And the winner is... Vanille Gutter. Congratulations, Vanille. I'd now like to hand over to Sophie to present the next award. The next award is for Society of the Year. This award is given to a society that continually excels in providing the best experience for their members. They have a high level of community engagement that inspires others to get involved and they strive to have a variety of activities that are available to all their members. The nominees are the Disabled Student Society for becoming a true advocating force for disabled students' campaigns and concerns has been described as a place where people can develop their disabled identity while making friends. The Psychology Society for creating a great programme of online events for the pandemic to keep their members engaged and connected. The group have organised several talks in every area of psychology and careers to help out the students. The Chinese Society for providing support and a sense of community to international students at UPAN during a time of feeling isolated. This society has provided a variety of exciting activities that nominations said helped improve their communication and leadership skills. Musical Theatre Society for adapting to the circumstances of COVID and creating an online programme of monthly showcases of film performances to ensure students felt part of the society and help lift students' spirits. The winning society was described as helping to relieve stress and anxiety, helping society members feel like they belonged and feeling less lonely during the pandemic. And the winner is... The Chinese Society, congratulations! I'd now like to hand over Steph for some Livesey Award winners. Okay, it is now time for us to present our highly commended Livesey Award certificates. These are awarded to those students who have achieved their bronze, silver and gold awards and have continued to volunteer for the Student Union. These students are all graduating this year, so this is their last Union Awards. Everybody say ah. No, everybody go ah. Much better. Unfortunately, we can't present their certificates to them just now for obvious reasons. But we make a union promise that we will get them to you as soon as possible. Congratulations to all of these amazing volunteers on your hard work throughout your time at UPLAN. And our highly commended winners are And I'll now hand over to Sophie for the last sports award of the night. Sophie, go along! The next award is for Club of the Year. Given to the sports club that has proved to be exemplary in regards to club organisation and management, dedication to its sport and commitment to university sport as a whole. And the nominees are Cheer! for finding innovative ways to keep the club thriving, including lockdown Instagram challenges, virtual give it a go sessions, virtual fundraisers, and awareness themed training sessions for causes such as anti-bullying and brain tumor research. Men's football, for their Climb Everest charity event that saw members of the team going up 3,871 flights of stairs in their own homes to raise money for charity Lancashire Mind, as well as taking part in Movember to raise money and awareness. And the winner is... Cheer! Congratulations again, Tigers. Well done for all your hard work. I will now hand over to Zuleika for the final award of the evening.
and we are at our final award of the evening. This award is for Union Volunteer of the Year. This award is for the Standout Volunteer of the Year. This can be in any area of union volunteering and will recognise the volunteer who has gone the extra mile this year and done something special. The nominees are Gemma Nettle for striving to engage Pulse Media readers supporting volunteers to create the content they wish to write. Gemma had a hand in making Shooter Media a thriving place of creativity and content this year, with double the amount of readership as a result of her hard work. Kira Caldwell for putting an enormous amount of time and effort this year into so many different projects and teams including Scran and RAG. Since starting her second year, she has logged many hours running social media pages, volunteering around the campus as a COVID champion and dedicating herself to many different good causes. Nikita Holmes for being instrumental in recruiting volunteers and spreading awareness of mental health stigma and discrimination. Her This Is Me campaign aimed to encourage students to disclose disabilities to inclusive support to ensure that students get the support they need. Another aim was to show students with disabilities positively as a whole person with interests and passions beyond their disability. Molly Frude for being dedicated and a strong voice to disabled students at UCLan. Molly has helped with the creation and promotion of important campaigns to improve student life. She is an active voice within the society and in the nomination it was said, it is people like Molly who have helped the society develop as much as it has this year. The winner of this award has been described as an amazing individual and this shines through when she is volunteering. They have also said she uses her own experiences to campaign with the Student Mind Society to improve mental health services at UCLan. And the winner is... Nikita Holmes. Congratulations, Nikita. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching our award ceremony and a massive congratulations to all nominees and winners. We hope that you manage to have a great summer and we will hopefully be able to see you in person very soon. Bye.